Every single civilian we find finds a new reason to rub me the wrong way and make me instantly hate their guts. We got the two florists who come here looking at freaking plants. And when the plants can eat you. Oh my goodness. I want to cry. I bet he's only saying that because there's like 10 seconds left in the day because I keep stopping and just contemplating the state of affairs in this Pikmin world. I'm just like, I'm still stuck on that. I'm, st I'm still stuck on that. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness me. I don't know if this guy's actually going to fight back because obviously they don't want to, they don't want you to get your rock Pikmin killed before you even get to use them. So I don't know if that guy actually would fight back. So I wasn't too scared there, but I always struggle with these guys. I don't know what to do. I know you're supposed to throw it at the eyeballs, but like you never go on the eyeballs and I haven't got any yellows. So that makes life difficult. I didn't think about that. I should have brought some yellows in with me. Well, if all goes wrong, and I'm forced to turn back for some reason. Yes, just one Pikmin. Charge just one. Put my switch button to good use. At least I remember something that useful the second I've done it. And don't just immediately forget. There we go. Yeah, I'm back. There we go. And now I'm back playing as me. Yeah, that would help. That would help a lot. I kind of forgot about that. There we go. Is that that entire bit, like, done now? Oh, the gold nuggets. Yeah, don't want to forget those. There we go. I got my gold nuggets. I was going to say, that man does not already know where I am. I will end everything. That didn't do much damage. Are these guys, like, immune to the being thrown on their back thing? No, that looked like that did it then. They are. Oh, that's, that, oh, that's worrisome. I lost two Pikmin. Oh, that's saddening. This guy is going to give me more trouble than any bosses have. Just you watch. So now, why would I want to lock onto that? In what realistic world would I, that be the thing I wanted to do? That's my problem with not being able to gyro it whenever I want. Because that, I was, I was using the gyro there and it's still locked on. He's going near their corpses, so I can't really do anything about. There he goes, locking onto him now. At the eyes, at the eyes, at the eyes. There we go. At the eyeballs, at the eyeballs. Come on, at the eyeballs. There we go. That was a little bit frustrating, I'm not going to lie, but like, where are you going to be? Okay, nope. Nothing I can really change it with, as far as I can see. Could just be being blind, as usual. I want more on that. More on that as well. More on that one. Hang on a minute. How do I switch targets? Like, surely if that's going to keep happening, I can switch targets somehow. Am I, am I just missing something? <sighs> Doesn't look like there's any way to turn it off, and that is mildly annoying because the auto target lock is the source of my issues. If it wasn't for that, this would be fine. But no, Pikmin, Pikmin 3's control scheme so far has probably been better. Even though I had to reset the dryer every five minutes. It's frustrating. But at least I could actually lock on to stuff. 
Oh man. Kind of relying on charges and like using um the rush and stuff because like <sighs> the cursor is just not the most reliable thing in the world. It's my only criticism I have for this game. I will say that, but it's kind of frustrating. Because they got it right before. They could have just improved on it. Oh, we got some rock Pikmin in here. Nice. Yeah, now that's something I always find frustrating with games. When they have perfectly good control schemes. And they just decide to, like, not... Like, because it's not like the cursor has changed in any way to justify it. Y you know what I mean? I get it maybe on Ochi. Being on Ochi and having it like it, fine. But then why can't it switch back to the normal Pikmin 3 controls when I'm like this? You know what I mean? So, I am staying on this bit, this point a little bit longer than I really need to. It's not something that bugs me anywhere near as much as I'm making it sound like it does. But yeah, it's just a, uh, it's just a thing I notice with games a lot, of, like quite a lot, especially like sequels of games. They'll just needlessly change the controls, and it's like you had something that worked really well here. Why, why are you messing with it? But it's just the way things are, I guess. And this guy needs to get done. Where's the button? There's the button. You want to you wanna do that? Nah. There we go. Get those guys on that. Get those guys on that. And we'll just... There we go. Yeah. the big, My biggest frustration with it is the fact of, like, things like once you've thrown the max amount of Pikmin you can have, say with this bulb orb, once I'd thrown three, I, is, it, is it a bulb orb or a bulb blacks? I, I'm not sure. Either way, um, with these, when, when I threw three onto that, I had to keep sort of fighting with the controls to be able to put any more on there. Little things like that are just a little bit like why? This isn't necessary. And we still got this little thing to take. And this guy. Alright, that is everything on the floor. After after I rambled, I've uh, I've like uh, really like oh, whew, like mentally exhausted myself, I should say, not so much physically. Cause that was a lot of thought that went behind that. But this has been a big dungeon. 83% of the way through though, so we're almost done. Oh, final level. I was more right than I could have thought. Is this the final level? I'm concerned about that. Right, come on. We still got a leaf, but oh well. Oh, good God! Oh, that was a baby. That's a real one.
You're not hungry, bro? You want a snack on my dog? That's not where he is. Get him! There we go. Oh no, he just shrinks. Oh, okay. Man, that guy was so hard in, like, Pikmin 1. Hell, it was easier in Pikmin 2, but he still killed a load of Pikmin for me. It can be brutal because of how many Pikmin he can eat. Because, like, I'm pretty sure in those games he has no limiter. He can just, just suck up 100. Research Task Force Recruit. Finally! Finally! Someone who actually makes sense. Look at this. Look at this. This environmental eco... This environmental ecologist enjoyed the team. Joined the enjoyed the team. He enjoyed the team. They enjoyed the team. It doesn't actually say if they're male or female there, so... Um, but, yeah, look, right, right, this environmental ecologist, don't know if that's the right word, joined the team to research Pikmin ecology and decipher their mysterious relationship to whistles. Finally, someone who has come to this planet to research something actually related to this planet specifically, so they have to come here. Like, that's what I mean. We've had a couple other people who made sense because, like, they were, like, here to research something to do with PNF 404, but there's not many. Uh, the endless burden of the academic, of the academic, never satisfied unless they see with their own eyes and touch with their own hands. I don't know if I said that right, what about some of those words right. I'm not very good at speech, as you know. And yet I decide to do something that involves a lot of speech. Isn't that just clever? Well, hopefully I'll learn how to speak better doing this more. I will learn how to speak the good. Oh, that's not the good. Is this a room for... I swear this is a, um... I swear this is a floor layout from Pikmin 2. I swear it is. Nah, this definitely is. I recognize this. Yeah, I recognize this. I specifically recognize this. Because I made a very similar mistake in Pikmin 2. In that I came in here. I just read Pikmin. And then it gave you this puzzle at the end where it's like. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of water. But in Pikmin 2, the walkway was not this, this thick. No, the walkway was about this thick. About as far as where Ochi's legs come out to. So... Yeah, it was it was good fun. Good fun. There we go. Lovely. Eight thousand five hundred sparkling collected, and that is the end of that dungeon. Let's go. We rescued Mika and Sai, the Uncharted Planet Tourist, the Fool, and the Research Task Force Recruit, the one who makes sense. And we got a bunch of treasure. We got the Flaky Temptation, Memorial Fragment, bottom right. Oh, you can actually see some sort of image there. Ambiguous goo. Anxious sprout. 
Disc of Joyous Wisdom. Planetary Rubber Cutie again. I know it was universal before. Uh, <clears throat> Sweet Stumble Knot. Chance Totem. Crew Cut Gourd. Cookie of Prosperity. Ancient Statue Head. Nuggets. And 23 Creatures. Investigation complete. There we go. Lovely. Do apologize. Took me a while to read out those names. I'm very tired. Keep choosing to do these streams at very stupid times. I'm going to try and change that. I'm probably not going to stream tomorrow. And I'm going to try and stream at a reasonable time the next day. If I stream the next day. Might leave it two days. I don't know. I've been streaming a lot. So i got to take a break. At least a little one. At least a little one. And going to be 10 seconds till the end of the day. I can take out some rock Pikmin if I wanted to. I'm not going to. There we go. Right, where's the rest of this stolen treasure? Mm, probably in the enemies. And then we got this over here, which I still need to do as well. So we will uh, remove that pin and remove that pin. No, we're not place another one. And remove that one. So now we will just place all of our pins. Nope. Leaving in a trail. Telling us which way we should go. Just like this. There we go. You know, despite doing that, I'm probably still going to manage to ignore them, but still. I try. I try to make up for my uh, incompetence, but it, it just doesn't. It's in vain. Move the base. Why not? Oh, I could, like... Well, I suppose it's kind of... Yeah, no. <laughs> that couldn't save Pikmin, because if they're that close to you, they're going to be in your squad anyway. Or you'd be able to whistle them. Ah, lovely end of day two. Let's go. Well, the end of the day results. Oh, we go gain cutscenes. We got a bunch of sparkly on that day. I'm really, I'm really excited to see what the results of this day is because we did a bunch of stuff. We've got enough energy stored up that we should have no problem starting the SS Shepherd's engines. I'll make sure the ignition is functioning properly. Restore an SS Shepherd's engine. We've restored up plenty of energy for the SS Shepherd and expanded the radar search area. The engines are ready to go again. <clears throat> now we can take off at any time. If we could only find our pilot. Until then, the SS Shepherd remains grounded. We rescued a lot of people. We got Yanni. Puddle, Mika, Sai, and question mark, question mark, question mark, the Leafling. So, we've got a fool, an absolute... The Universal Stylist is worse than the Uncharted Planet Tourist. Much worse. I, I made a bigger deal of the Uncharted Planet Tourist, but no. No, that's because I forgot about that guy. I'm pretty sure it was a guy. That... A Universal Stylist... I apologize for going so hard on you, Mika. You'll probably join me in ragging this guy. At least you're, like, researching. You know what I mean? Oh, goodness. Spring Cop. <laughs> Spring Cop. Spring Crop Series Complete. Gold Medal.
we gained two thousand. We gained a third of what we already had. Basically, that's mad. That's like absolutely crazy. That is a really productive day. Right, so we got searing acid shock, citrus lump, decorative goo, universal rubber cutie, talisman of life, cherry blossom, time marker, disguised delicacy, delicacy, blonde imposter, <clears throat> astringent clump. We got the spring crop series medal. I need to take a drink. Throw it all over myself like a genius. And then we got the Expression Hider, Flaky Temptation, Memory Fragment Bottom Right, Ambiguous Goo, Anxious Sprout, Disc of Joyous Wisdom, Planetary Rubber Cutie, Sweet Stumble Knot, Chance Totem, Crew Cut Gourd, Cookie of Prosperity, Ancient Thatch You Head, and 35 Nuggets, and 43 Enemies. <gasps> oh. I put way too much emphasis in my voice there, so I used up like a ton of oxygen. A ton of air, really. But yeah. Yanni's back. Nope. Wrong voice. Yanni's back, Captain. Seems like we're making progress. Well done, Cool Banana. So, where is he then? We'll need to discuss the leafling situation as soon as possible. Um, the thing is, after the false sleep mode was lifted, he kind of went right back to sleep. I think he, I think he'd be examining a plant that only appears. Oh, I think he'd been examining a plant that only appears at night, so he was pretty sleep deprived. Seriously, he was out walking around at night here. It's ridiculously dangerous. I suppose I should be grateful that he's still alive. Huh? That's strange. I put a bottle right here. Where did it? Dingo! You didn't drink that liquid that was sitting right here, did you? Did you? Hey, don't shout at me like that. But yeah, I was thirsty and it was right there, so I gave it a try. Who cares? Well, that was the medicinal ingredient that Yoni was using in his experiment. And you never thought to mention that until now. Uh, why do I suddenly feel very hot? <gasps> Are you all right? Maybe you should go lie down too, Dingo. <coughs> I suggest we put this meeting on hold for the time being. Oh my good gracious me. I know everyone in this universe is like surprisingly dim-witted, but like the rescue corps the rescue corpse that's what they're all gonna be soon. Rescue corpses. Oh, it You should be caught up on everything now, Yanni. According to Dingo, this castaway may just be our pilot. Let me think. The primary symptom is the growing of leaves, yes? If that's the case, then I believe we may be able to cure them. While stranded, I discovered a bewitching specimen called a liminal. A luminal. It only appears in the dark of night. When dawn breaks, it releases a sap quite high in degradative, degradative enzymes. I believe it can make a medicine out of those secretions that can break down the newly grown leaves. Uh, for real? I mean, cool. But then they'll just, then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. Oh no! But then they'll find out I just left Bernard behind. I knew Dingo couldn't be trusted. Alas, our friend Dingo here consumed all the sap that I previously collected. So, New Blood will have to perform some... So, oh. He's calling me New Blood. Okay. Why? I have to perform some night expeditions to harvest the medi the medicinal ingredients for us. Oh, there's nothing to lose sleep over except in the literal sense. 
Find me later and I'll teach you all you need to know about night expeditions. Excellent. Thanks to Yoni. It sounds like we have a solution to our lethaling drama. Now, everyone, to your, to your stations, to your stations, please. Copy that, Captain. I've got one last thing to report. Once again, the rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped, so we've expanded in, into a new area. Colin and all the castaways joined forces and worked hard to make this happen. Man, they must have worked quick, because it had been like two days. Two days! Because we did so much productivity in this last day. We got six people, if I'm not mistaken. Here's some raw material that we dug up while clearing the new space. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. This game is great. This game is great. There is more to it. I did think so. So if I go to the explore tab here, we're all set over here. The SS Beagle can take off whenever you're ready. We still have another area to go to in Serene Shores. Yes. We still have ages till we're doing the night stuff. That is crazy. Woo. Right. We're almost done here. Wait a minute. Oh, I, I was thinking that the two new Pikmin there were going to be like... Wait a minute. In that cavern, it's shown that there were two new Pikmin. I only got one new Pikmin. No, I got blues in there as well. I suppose on a technicality, if you didn't get the blue onion, then that would be the first place you get blues. Interesting. There is not. Whenever you're ready, I'm ready, so come find me. I will do just that, my friend. But right, how many have we got of each color? Pretty decent amount. Pretty decent amount. I can leave that there. And one of the fools here. Dalmo. Thank you for your help. I feel like an empty place inside me is being filled up. What? Well, by danger. By making people waste time to help you. Because... Oh, that's, that's a bit harsh, but still... You're a fool. You're still a fool. Ah, that was fascinating. You really didn't care about me calling you a fool, so. <sighs> Aren't you the one who saved me? Thank you so much. Hey, have you ever thought it'd be fun to try on a new look? Rescue 10 leaflings. Got a lot of work to do before I do that. Whew. I can change everything as well. That's that's thoughtful. I know there are a lot of games. Well, okay. Okay. Being able to change that is a little bit drastic. Kind of gave me a deadpan look in my eyes. Took the shine out of it because I didn't have any anesthetic or anything. So I felt all the pain. So I'm just kind of, yeah. Wow. Thanks a ton. You've loomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. Nice. But you can't, you can't really be done, right? No, I'll do more. Another 300. Okay. And then we've got another side quest over here. Hi, I'm Mika. You're probably wondering what a high school teacher is doing here. Yeah, I am. Came to this plant to supervise a student field trip. That is really, really 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 irresponsible to have brought uh, to bring a field trip to this place but still but it's not going so well yeah no i don't know what you expected one ship log about some guy crashing like oh let's take the kids there
All right. All right. They're a part of a rescue club. And that was what the field trip is, I guess. But still. They are part of a rescue club. That means study and, you know, practical activities that don't actually involve trying to save actual people when they are children. Unless, you know, there is actually someone in, who happens to be in danger where they are. They're not going to go out of their way to go to an uncharted planet. Um, I know it's not so much uncharted anymore because Olimar charted it, but still. Hi, I'm Sai. I like to consider myself an expert in habitat ecology. When I heard an unknown planet had been found, my first thought was unknown planet means unknown creatures. Who could resist an opportunity like that? Not me, that's for sure. I applied to join the re uh, research task force as soon as I could. You don't have much experience, but still can't blame you for doing what you did. We've got the same hairstyle, so I can't entirely hate you. This probably seems random, but I have a request for the two of you. I'm currently researching the connection between Pikmin and the whistle that they respond to. I have loads of questions. Like, how many Pikmin can you lead at a time? And will the whistle still work on all the Pikmin if your squad increases? And what's the ju and that's just the tip of the iceberg in the terms of what I want to know. How about we just start with uh, telling me when your squad gets bigger? What? No way, you already lead that many Pikmin? Wow. <laughs> I got two of those down. Nice. Now it's just six phyllic bulbs. I got a bunch of raw material from doing that, which is amazing. I think that is everyone to talk to for now. Let's go see what Russ has got for us. Oh, you only got anything new? You haven't really said much since you've been here, Petunia. Yeah, Petunia is another one who I'm pretty sure was here within reason. Ah, you must want to know about my research. Good, very good. I'm currently working on my uh, hypo... Yeah, 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 because they um, were interested in the onions. So again, makes perfect sense for them to be here. Some of them, though. I've developed a prototype. Let's have a look, Russ. Lightning shock. Oh my god. Let's give that a go. It's probably going to be... It's not even that expensive. Trachinator. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'll get the uh, thing for that. But honestly, I feel like the mine is probably going to be more useful in that sense. I'll buy five of them. But uh, I want to buy some more bomb rocks as well since I used a few. There we go. You know, I'm starting to get hit more because, yeah. The game's starting to get harder. So I'm going to buy a couple of those just to be safe. I've got a headlamp plus. Not really that much better, to be honest. Triple threat. I bestow upon you the power of the triple punch. They save and a tin can can shatter a boulder with enough blows. Yeah, I'll get that. <clears throat> I've got the brace boots. Again, we haven't come across a puffy blowhog in enough situations for me to see that as justified yet. Although it might be an idea to get it soon. So next time we come through here, I'm going to remember to get those. But for now, I think it might be an idea to get the scorch guard for the pup. Or the anti electrifier for the pup. You know, I'm going to give myself a HP increase, actually. Just in case. We're getting into the night nighttime stuff soon. I want to make sure I'm not going to get absolutely beaten up. What have we got this new? Oh, air armor.
Yeah, so with getting a HP increase and the air armor, yeah, I'll get air armor. And I will get tough stuff for the pot, and then we'll leave it there. Don't want to use all of the materials up. We want to be able to at least do some stuff when we go to the new areas. And now finally, let's train our Pochi. Right, we have six we can use. Right, I wanted to get the doggy paddle up, so I will do that. Let's see how much faster this is. Oh, wow, it's quite a bit faster. Yeah, we'll get that. Yeah, I'm going to grab that. So here it basically is then a water Pikmin, a blue Pikmin. I always call them water Pikmins because, yeah. And then we've got super buff as well, which would be nice. Or we, we can't afford big chomp. Or we could get pluck level three. Or dig level three. You know, dig level three is tempting. I think I will leave it for now since I've got enough to get this, so I'll get that. Since that's pretty valuable. And we got three scrummy bones. Lovely. And there we go. So that is just everything that we can do before going on to the night expeditions. But we'll have a look at them at least. Well, hello there, new blood. It'll be nice to have a fresh subject around here. Since we're working together, you can just call me Yoni. No sense wasting valuable research time. I need you to go out on some night expeditions for me. I want you to harvest extracts from the luminols that I use as medicine, uh, medicinal ingredients. It's only possible at night. I could go on... But you should just see it for yourself. Let me know when you're ready for a nighttime adventure. Explore at night. So it's Sun Speckle Terrace in the night as well. So it'll be the same areas just at nighttime, right? Okay. And they're probably remixed and different as well. But right, with that. That I'm going to call it an end of the stream here because I am absolutely exhausted. But right, thank you for watching the stream and thank you for watching the episode of Pikmin if you're watching this on YouTube. So, uh, yeah, thank you again. And I will see all of you in the next video or the next stream, whichever I see you in or you see me in. I'm always awkward at doing this. <laughs> right, goodbye.